Donald Trumps out there <laughs> to hear that in this great city, we have not only proud New Yorkers, but proud Mexicans. So I want you guys to make noise so all the Donald Trumps out there can hear us. Make some noise. Hear us. Hear us. Hear us. We want to be able to have a a path to citizenship. You know, for me, I can't wait to the moment till I'm sworn in as a naturalized citizen. You know, like I consider this my home. I came to the U.S. when I was five years old. After my father passed away, uh, my mom had to confront the decision to you know, stay in Mexico and you know, confront the challenges of being a widow. So for her, it was a very clear decision that she wanted a better life for us. So she made the decision to cross into the, uh, to the U.S. Uh, through the border. Uh, I've been here since I was five and this is my home. I was able to graduate college and graduate uh, law school in 2011. I remember graduating then being such an amazing, bittersweet moment because on one hand, you know, I was there with my family, I was there with my friends, and they were seeing me, you know, graduate as a lawyer. Uh, you know, I felt, you know, they're, you know, a Brooklyn kid, an immigrant kid coming, you know, grew up in Brighton Beach, you know, you know, very low income community. And there I was becoming a lawyer. Uh, but then on the other hand, reality struck to me that because of my immigration status that I probably couldn't be a lawyer. So uh, for me, it was, a, it was a journey that started that moment that I said, you know what, I may not be able to practice law, but I, can, I do still have a voice. The president, the president has broken his promise to the Latino community, I'm secretary, and we wanted to know whether you stand by the president's delay on immigration. Thank you. I think we have to elect more Democrats. For me, it's the reason I got into activism. The really, the reason I started advocating for uh, immigrant rights was, you know, simply my family and my mother. Uh, you know, she risked everything to give me a better life, and you know, I want her to feel like that she can walk down the street without having to fear immigration agents coming in her arrest her. We're Americans. So, so We're why don't like you want to abide by our laws? Because there is no system. Which I have DACA and I have deportation relief but my parents don't, my mother doesn't. So, and there's so many parents out there who are equally, you know, qualified people to be in this country because they work hard, they're paying taxes, and why, why me and not them? You know, like help protect, even if we do them there, to be honest with you, I don't care. I mean, That's what I think you should do them there, is gonna be people there from all over. You know, it was a, a victory won by so many people, but it was a victory that was gonna open the doors, not just for lawyers, but for so many other professions, for people who, you know, if you work hard, you can achieve your dreams. And that is what the American dream is about. goes to a young lawyer who recently won his case to be admitted to the bar in the state of New York. The first, but like we keep on saying, not the last uh, of our dreamers to accomplish an incredible, an incredible feat. Cesar Vargas. Our immigration system is broken, not people, right? People are here coming for better lives. It's the immigration system that's now allowing people to get on back of the line, right? There is no line for me to become a U.S. citizen. We need to make sure that we remind people that undocumented immigrants pay taxes, there's no free ride, that 
our outdated immigration system is broken. You know, we haven't modernized our, our immigration system since the 1980s, and we have had you know terrible laws based on you know just fear. And most important, we need to share our stories of who we are because through that we are able to to really change the conversation of what it means to be an immigrant here in the U.S.